Hey guys, I'm Sharon from Scarlet Studio. So today I'm going to show you guys how I created this animation loop. So this is more like an intermediate level tutorial. So if you're a beginner here, make sure you guys leave a comment and I'll do a more thorough breakdown of the tutorial. And make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. And I have a bunch of other beginner friendly animation loops in my channel so you guys can check them out as well. And with that said, let's get on to the tutorial. So you guys can also download the project file from my website at scarletglobal.com link in the description and make sure you guys check it out and let me know in the comments below so i'm going to delete everything and select the cube scale it in the y-axis scale it down in the z and tab in edit mode add two loop cuts with control r select the top face extrude it out scale it down and apply scale go into edit select mode and bevel the front and the back edges and add a loop cut in the middle go to words select mode select one half and delete with x vertices and add a mirror modifier now add a cylinder and give it 12 cuts and rotate it in the y-axis 90 degrees place it in the front somewhere where you want your wheels to be and tap into edit mode and duplicate it tap out of edit mode select the car and add the boolean modifier select the cylinders and apply it and now we'll scale down our cylinders in the x-axis and place them as our wheels. And also, and tab into edit mode and select everything. And with Alt S, you can scale down everything. Go to face select mode with three and select the two faces. Change the transform pivot point to individual origins and insert the two faces with I and extrude them in again. Select the faces and extrude them in. I'm just going to do it one cylinder, delete the other one and duplicate this and place it over there. Now add a mirror modifier, set the object origin of the cylinders to the 3D cursor and select the Z axis. Select the car, tab in edit mode, select the front face and with shift D duplicate it, scale it down and shift d duplicate it to add a number plate now shift d duplicate to add a light disable clipping in the mirror modifier and select that edge and bring it closer extrude again in case you want to add another color light and shift d duplicate one face again and add a side mirror now I'm going to select all those faces and with E, I'm going to extrude them out and drag the lights a little bit closer. Select the mirror, extrude it in, extrude it out a bit, scale it down and put it inside the car. Select the side mirror with L and place it near the door. Select the lights, the number pad, and the bumpers, and with Shift D, duplicate them and drag them back to our back, make them our backlights, and pull them in a bit as well. And with Control R, add a loop cut in the middle. Select the front face, and with I, insert it in, and E, and extrude it in. Insert and extrude in. Insert and extrude in. Extrude in. Insert, extrude, in. And there you go guys, we have our car. Tab into edit mode and with L select the back wheel and separate it with P. Apply the mirror modifiers in the both objects and go to object set origin, origin to geometry and in the both objects so that we have the origin in the middle and we can rotate those wheels. Now we're going to add our materials, I'm going to add a red color. To the car with the, in the principal shader and make the roughness to about 0 0.1 add a new material and make it an emission shader and assign it to our lights select the number plate and add a new white material to it and assign that select the bumper and add a black material to the bumper and do the same thing the behind white to the number plate and black to the bumper and the emission shader to the lights and create a new emission shader I might make it a little bit red-ish and add it to the backlights and create a blue shader and add it to our windows 
the windshield. Now I'm going to select the tires, tab in edit mode, select the tire with alt left click and assign add a new material, two materials, make it black and add a metallic shader to the other one, to the rims and decrease the roughness and it's just easier to delete the behind wheels and duplicate the front back and I'm going to add the same blue material to the side mirrors as well you can decrease the roughness in that if you want but I'm just gonna leave it like that and add a UV sphere scale it up and place it in the bottom of our car and I'm gonna make it scale it up to about 20 place it on top and right click shade smooth and with control 2 add a subdivision surface modifier tab into it with alt lift select this edge and with shift d duplicate it and control p to add a mirror modifier and disable clipping and extrude it out disable clipping and extrude it out and apply the mirror to the x axis as well the y Select the sphere and add a material so that we can see what's going on. And you guys can see the mesh is bleeding out in the road, so I'm going to scale the road up in the z-axis a bit. Select the sphere, tab into edit mode, and with Alt Z go to X-ray select mode and select one half, and select the other half and add and add a vertex group and assign the vertex group. Create a new particle system. Select hair. And in vertex group, vertex group, select the group. And in edit preferences, make sure you have the sapling add-on enabled. So we're going to create a few trees. In the add curves menu, add, add a saplings tree. And you can load a preset. You can find all kinds of trees in the preset. Or you can create your own. But I'm just going to use a preset. And place it in a side. Create two more trees. In from our sapling add-on, put them, scale them down, and put them to a side. Create another tree, another preset, rotate it a bit, maybe if you want, and select all three. And with Control G, you can create a group, and I'm gonna name the group tree. In particle settings, render as select collections, and from the collection tree collection. And now you guys can see the particle system. I'm going to reduce the number of trees to 200 and rotate the trees 90 degrees in the Y axis. And now you guys can see the trees look kind of okay. And I'm going to reduce the scale to about 0.1 and play with the randomized settings a bit and make it 0.2. 0.1 looks good and play with the scale randomness a bit. Maybe make it 0.5. I'm going to textures.com to download my materials. It's all free, so you can download as much as you want. You get 15 credits free per day. And I'm going to download the, Al the albedo map, the height map, the normal map, and the roughness map. Now in the shade settings, you can press Control shift t if you have the node triangle add-on enabled. Navigate to the place you saved your texture. Select the four maps and... The node wrangle add-on will import everything into Blender. Now just smart UV project everything. Increase the scale to about 10. Yeah, 10 looks good for me. And I'm going to do the same thing to the trees as well. I feel like our sphere and the roads look a bit too big. So I'm going to scale them down. Sphere and I'm going to decrease the scale to about 11. And do the same thing with the road but make it 11.1. That it stays, stays on top of our sphere and move select the car and place it on top of our sphere and now go to textures.com select our bark texture and a road texture to our map and uh, to our materials and i'm going to download those same maps to the tree bark as well select the road and add a new material to it and I'm going to name it road in case I get confused. And with Control shift T, I'm going to load the road textures. And select the albedo, the height, and the normal with the roughness map. And this is, oh, that's the roughness map. And import them in. 
the UVs are a bit messed up. So we're going to the UVs tab and it's just a circle. So what I'm going to do is select an edge and add a seam. And with you, unwrap it again. Select the word C and rotate it 90 degrees in the X axis and scale it up. So it's actually the same thing with trees. You select the trees and add your sh materials. Now I'm going to add an environment texture to our scene in HDRI. I downloaded from HDRI Haven. So it's called Railway Bridge. And now I'm going to shading. It looks a bit wonky right now. I'm going to place my camera now with Control Alt Zero and place it somewhere over there maybe. Or maybe somewhere over here. Control Alt Zero and go to shading. Go to the world tab, world, and control T, add a texture coordinate and a mapping node and rotate the X and the Y to until you get a nice sky to your camera. Okay, this looks good for me, so I'm going to leave it like that. No, maybe rotate it a little bit more. And okay, this looks good. Click the sphere and go to the first frame, add a keyframe with I. Go to the 120th frame and add a keyframe as well. I'm going to end, make the end keyframe 119 and make the rotation 360. Okay, it should be minus 360 and add another keyframe in the 120th frame. Okay, so this looks good for me now. And I'm going to do the same thing to the road mesh as well. Now I'm going to select the car, go to the modifiers tab and apply the mirror modifier and add a shape key. Tab into edit mode and maybe move the car a little bit to the front, rotate it a bit to the Y axis and the Z axis. And if you change the values of the shape key, you can see the car looks like it's bouncing. So what I'm going to do is add a beginning and end keyframe and go to the animation tab and add graph editor and add a noise modifier. And you guys can see, you guys can't really see it. And so you have to play with the scale a bit. Strengthen now you guys can see and increase the scale and you guys can see it's bouncing So if you guys have a melody you guys can bounce it according to your melody So this is all personal preference. So if, if you want to slow it down, you can increase the scale in the X Now I'm gonna select the wheels and animate the wheels Go to layout view and with control A, apply rotation and you can rotate this in the X axis. So go to the first frame and add a keyframe and go to the last frame, 360 into 8 and add a keyframe. So I'm going to do the same thing to the back wheels as well. First keyframe and the last keyframe, 360 to 8 so that's it for this tutorial guys hope you guys liked it and when you're rendering in EV you can apply bloom ambient occlusion and shadows screen space reflections all these look make your render look pretty cool and add a nice angle you like so this looks good for me and I'm gonna leave it like that. So if you guys make this tutorial, tag me on your work so I can see them maybe and leave some feedback as well. So follow me on Insta, I'll be posting more of my work there before I upload tutorials. And I have a lot of videos like this in my channel so you guys can check them out as well. And I'll be making 3 videos a week, mostly character modeling videos and animation loops like this. So on Mondays, make sure you guys catch those animation loops and the rest of the week I'll be posting uh, more character modeling videos so if you guys want to learn how i created this sci-fi hallway scene you guys can click here and if you guys want to create more animation loops like this you guys can click the playlist over here so thank you guys for watching this tutorial if you guys liked it leave a comment and subscribe to this channel so thank you guys see you in the next one peace